let's get gaming. Today we have a booster box of Tales of Aria Unlimited from the TCG Flesh and Blood. We're going to be doing an opening. Let's see if I'm too optimistic in having some hard cases ready or if we'll get to use those. Oh, we'll get on into it here. Welcome, folks. This is a new game for me. You might see in the background here we have the Keyforge gaming mat. So I've been playing Keyforge for a while, really liking that a lot, and just got into Flesh and Blood. So trying out this new set here and hoping to get some cards here to make my first classic constructed deck. All right. Our Tales of Aria Unlimited. 24 packs in a box. Let's see what we have. All right. Is there a little pull tab on these? This is my first time opening this set. So I don't know if there's a little pull tab or if we just have to go in the old fashioned way. All right. Well, let's see if we can get into this here. Hmm. Huh. Well, I am clearly not super great at doing TCGs. I quit TCGs uh, back um, in Magic the Gathering, I think was the last one I did. And I got out of that right when they released the Mirrodin set. So I was kind of in the Stronghold era, Mirrodin, that kind of stuff. All right. Electrify, Winter's Bite. Kind of some cool art in this set. I really like that. First few packs, I'm going to go through some of these uh, commons and see what we got. I got a couple of rares here. Got a nice foil card there, Mark of Lightning. Really like how Flesh and Blood does their foils, where it's not the whole picture, kind of like the um, the design on the arm there. That's really neat. And then let's see what else we have here. Ah, a non-foil that same card. That's great. All right. Lots of cool stuff. And ah, we got Lexi. Lexi and Rosetta Thorn. So that's pretty cool. All right. Try to keep some semi-decent piles. All right, we've got that. we got to put our foil pile. Foil pile. Rare pile. We've got a rare pile. Put the rare pile in front. Come on, common pile in the back. All right. Still no little pull tab on here, so I think we're going to get out the uh, little knife there, a little hobby knife. See what we got in pack number two. I'm loving the art from this set. Cold Wave. Ooh, Majestic Exposed to the Elements. Oh, nice elemental instance. Got Earth and Ice Fusion. First. Majestic of the box. Oh, find a spot for these Majestics on camera here so you can keep track of those. Let's see. Move the booster packs. Move the foils. There's our... You know, rares can stay over there. Let's put our Majestics up front and center. Why not? Let's hope we have to rearrange that all later for a legendary pile or something, right? Here. Another cool foil. Foil common there foil pile. Oh, well, that's a neat equipment. I haven't seen that one before. Looked at a few of these cards, you know, in the card galleries. There's, again, the non-foil of the foil, right in the same pack. I doubt that's a thing, but it's kind of neat. There's Olden and a Frostbite token. You can never get too many of those, right? All right. Pack three here. Let's pick up this opening pace maybe a little bit and see if we can find the good stuff. What do we got? A couple of rares here. Frost Fang. A nice ice attack and embolden. All right. And we have a... Is that the... Usually the foil was right after the rares. Oh, you can barely see the foiling on that card, but that is our foil. Nice foil common there. More commons. And we got, oh, that's cool, a cracked bobble. Look at that. 
Got to get a bunch of those, right? So first cracked bobble of the box. All right, let's see what we have in our next one here. All right. Well, there's our rare explosive growth and weave earth for some rares. And we have our foil common here, chill to the bone. Deep blue equipment. I think I'm running that in one of my other decks. I traded for it. I've just gotten in this game. I've been playing some dash debating running that, so we'll see. Seismic Surge Token. Don't remember if I actually decided to run it or not. I know somebody at the local game store gave me one. Alright. Well, that's a cool card. There's like the purple on the board there. Maybe we have to play Runeblade or play an Earth Hero. More commons, more commons, more commons. Do we miss the rares? Where'd the rares go? Here we go. Here's our rares. Rare Cold Wave and rare Summerwood Shelter. All right. And our token is an embodiment of the lightning tower. Oh, we got to get the foil. Where's the foil? Where's our foil? Should be in here probably right before the, yeah. Our Earth Lore Surge. All right. Grab our token out and... Let me know what you think of this game. I'm just getting into it. I've been playing a little bit of Blitz. I like the Blitz format a lot. The quick game. Really having fun with that. I'm gonna try the Classic Constructed. Here's our rare Turn Timber and our rare Ice Quake. Well, we got a rare foil there with Embolden. It's a neat card. Rare foil, I'm thinking we gotta gotta put something in a sleeve, right? I got sleeves, so we got something in a sleeve now. Let me know in the comments, are you a top down or bottom up sleever? I've always put my cards in from the bottom up, so the opening's on the bottom. I've always done that since I, my whole life, but some people say it's weird, so let me know. Are you a top down or bottom up sleever? All right, new equipments and stuff. It's just, just looks so good. More Seismic Surge, Rosetta Thorn, that's cool. I like that, Rosetta Thorn. Right. and our commons. All right, let's see here. I right, got a rare embolden and a majestic flash freeze. That's neat. I like that. All right, that's our second majestic. And we've got a common foil of mulch. Nice little item there, the amulet of lightning. Seems possibly useful. And we've got Briar. And oh, a Titan's Fist on the back of that. It's a neat little weapon. All right. Let's put our put our foil rare over here somewhere so we can so we can see it. We'll go through all the pulls at the end. Assuming I remember. I should. All right, what do we got? Uh, Rune Blade Defense Reaction Sigil of Suffering. Ooh, and Ice Quake. Uh -huh. Polar Blast, that just looks so good in the foil. Just looks so good in the foil, okay. A rare pile here, foil pile. Commons, and oh, on our token, we got a Briar. I always like to see if the uh, old hero and the young hero are on either side of the tokens. I don't know, something I like to find even my dash deck I'm, I have my young dash I make sure made sure that I got one of the tokens with the old dash on the back a couple of rares here biting gale and evergreen Ooh, red evergreen that's a pretty powerful attack and we got a foil stir the wildwood another deep blue Equipment there, embodiment of Earth. Maybe might need a few of those tokens if I 
get an Earth Hero together. I think if I can, I'll build a constructed deck of this old man here. He just kind of seems like a neat hero. I played against him in Blitz and got him down to one life, but ultimately lost. That was a fun game. Seemed like his playstyle is something I'd like. Ooh, Blue Evergreen. And Snapshot. Okay, so your Elemental Ranger rare there. I like that. Heaven's Claws. Look at that foil. That's another neat foil. Ragamuffin's hat. Yeah, that's a neat picture. What else do we got here? More tokens. All right. Oh, and the Shiver. There you go. There's a bow for the... Uh, goes with the arrow there. Straighten up my piles a little bit. So I'm kind of new to Flesh and Blood. If you're new to Flesh and Blood, there are several rarity levels. So you're going to see commons, this little C down here in the corner. Or kind of down on the bottom there. That's our commons. There are no uncommons in Flesh and Blood. Some people say these rares, a little R in the corner there, uh, are kind of like common, or uncommons, rather. Uh, I think they're maybe a little bit rarer than that, but not quite. There are foils of everything. So then there's rares, and then there's these majestics, and... Latest distribution seems to expect about six of those in a box. And if you um, if you get a rarer card than that, you've got the um, legendaries and then uh, fabled cards. I'm not expecting to see a fabled card today. Not really expecting to see a legendary. I would take either one of those, but mostly I'm just hoping to you know get a few of the various commons and rares for building decks for a few of these heroes in this set. So, you know, collecting these different commons. And you'll notice here, if you're if you're new, the different colors on the top and the different number of these red circles. Uh, they're, the same card can exist in all three, depending on the card. Oh, here we're skipping our rares. There's a lightning press rare. And here we go, we've got Majestic number three. Now this is not the legendary rarity or this legendary keyword, but wow, a Pulse of Volt Haven. I was actually hoping to pick up one of those. I have a little bit of a uh, Lexi uh, lightning ice kind of thing going on, so we'll see about that. And so those are the different rarities and the different cards can come in the different uh, pitch values, the blue, yellow, and red, depending on the card. Not every card does. And so it's trying to collect uh, a little bit of a variety of those as well, just so I have kind of the basic cards to start off uh, a deck with for each of the three heroes that are in this specific set. There's uh, Old Him, and there's Lexi, and there's Briar. So, let's see, did I skip the foil on that last one? I probably put it in the commons pile. Distracted telling you all about the... Uh, way the game works. At least that's my understanding of it so far. There's a couple of rares there, Snapshot and Weave Ice. So if I'm going for some Lexi, I think that's good. Oh, Foil Rare Snapshot. So we'll put that in a sleeve because we can. And we've got a token of Lexi with some Frostbite on the back. Getting plenty of Frostbite tokens. That's good. We're hoping for a few of those. Not that they're rare, right, or that you can't get them, just that it's part of the reason why you might buy a box of this, is just to, you know, to have that. Let's see if we can find that foil in, in here. Kind of a little hard maybe to see it on camera, but it should be... Where did that foil go from that last pack? If I did put it in there. Here, I know. Yell at me in the comments. You missed it, you missed it. Oh, there it is right there. Snow Under. Hmm, that's a neat. The snow is foil, and that's about it on that card. That's pretty cool. All right, I'll put that in our foils pile. All right, keep on going here. Maybe about halfway through. I've been taking unevenly off the two piles, I think, so I'm not quite sure, but I'd say we're about halfway through. All right, there's a rare Weave Earth and a Ooh, Flicker Wisp. A uh, nice little uh, majestic there. Elemental Rune Blade action, so that's going to be your uh, Briar. There we go. Got a. Uh, oh! 
Foil Majestic, Pulse of Volt Haven. So there's that legendary. I think we just got one of those. I said I wanted to pull one, but I mean, I'll take two and one in the foil, Majestic Foil. Oh, absolutely, I'll take that. And so, was that a Majestic and Majestic Foil pack there? Put the Majestic Foil on a sleeve for sure. Maybe I should put it in a top loader. I don't know. I don't know how rare those are. I really don't. But I'm happy to have one. That's kind of cool. Kind of cool. If I have two and they're legendary, I can only have one in the deck anyways. Maybe I'll trade it for something more useful to me or trade it for some more uh, more packs or something. See if there's a market for it. I don't know the prices of any of this stuff other than I bought some stuff for Dash and it was reasonably cheap. There's our, our rares. Flash. Nice lightning action. Rites of Lightning. I feel like we're getting a lot of lightning on the rares, but maybe that's just because I'm noticing it. There's that entwined earth with the foil. All right. A couple of other cool stuff there. We got our embodiment of earth token and an embodiment of lightning token. So a little double embodiment action on the tokens there. So I've got that Keyforge mat in the background, and something I've really liked about that game is the playing at your local game store aspect of it, and so really excited there. Explosive Growth Rare and a Turn Timber Rare. Really excited that Flesh and Blood is really supporting that local game store. Ooh, a Rotten Old Buckler. Nice. That's nice. Okay. Let's see here. What else do we got? So that's kind of one thing that got me into the game was that as well. All right, keep on going here, see what else we got. More commons. Speed it up a little bit, Bolton Shot Rare, and a Majestic Fulminate. There we go, Foil Rare, Turn Timber. Still putting our Foil Rares in sleeves, I think we are. If anything, just to help us at the end of the video to pull them out of the Pile. I really want a Rotten Old Buckler in foil. That would be just cool. There's Grandfather of Eternity right there. Very nice. So we did get a uh, Majestic there, a uh, Fulminate. That's pretty cool. Not sure I had looked up that card before, so Let's see how that goes. All right, what do we got here? Some more commons. There's our rare here, Lightning Press, and another rare. Biting Gale, Dazzling Crescendo Foil, common. And Embodiment of Lightning Token oh, with a hammer on the back. That's pretty cool. All right. What else we got here? Yeah, a couple of rares there, Explosive Growth and Weave Ice. Just kind of looking at the rarity here. Let's see if we see anything cool, but oh man, they're an Amulet of Ice, that's neat. So it seems like there's a, a pattern where you've got right after the foil some equipment or, or an item of some kind. I don't know if that's actually on purpose or not, but uh, it sure is cool if that's the way that works. All right. See if we can get through these last few packs here before the old camera runs out of some battery. Couple of rares here, Rites of Lightning and Weave Lightning. Got a, is that another foil majestic? It is another foil majestic there, Force of Nature, that's cool. We are pushing the limits on majestic pulls this uh, box, so that's neat. More commons and a token. Let's see what else we have here. 